Assalamualaikum and good day to everyone. Now, we are going to continue next topic on chapter 4 is about principle of moment. So, the aims of the lecture today, you should be able to apply the principle of moment in 2D and 3D problem. Now, what is the principles of moment? So, here, Vernon theorem states that principles of moment is moment of a force about a point is equal to the sum of the moments of the forces components about the point. So, how to use this? Why we need to apply this? So, it is particularly convenient since it is often easier to determine the moment of a force component rather than the moment of the force itself. Okay, now let's refer to this figure. So, first, first, based on the moment of a force. So, now we want to get, uh, we want to determine the moment of a force about this point O. So, let's say this is our force. Right. So, we can get that. We can define that. M O is equal to R cross F. So, this is the first moment of force about point O. So, now it said that this moment of force about this point O is equal to the sum of the moment of the force component. So, what is the force component? So, here we have F. So, what is the, this component of F? So, F, the component of F. So, here, go to here. So, we have F1 and F2. Right. So, this moment of force also can be determined. So, MO can be determined by R cross F1. Okay. Plus R cross F2. Also, we can have that. Okay, moment at point O is equal to R cross F1 plus F2. Okay, you got it? Next, this figure can show how we can apply the principles of moment or Vernon theorem. So here, this cable, so this cable exert a force on this pole. So it can treat moment about point A here. Okay, first, based on this point C. So this is cable, so this is the F. So, number one, we can have that moment at point A by this force, we can have the perpendicular distance because we, uh, because the moment about point A is equal to force time D. So, this is the D. D is the perpendicular distance to this force F. Okay, that is the number one. Number two, we also can have the moment can be created by the component of this force F which is Fx or Fy. So you can see which one Fx or Fy. So you look at the distance, perpendicular distance. So if Fy, so Fy is parallel to the point A. So we, we don't have the distance 0. So here of course Fx. So M A is determined by the F Y times B. So this is the distance B distance for this F. So this one. Okay. The third, the third way. So here. So this is the okay. Sorry, okay. This is the third. So the third way we can move to point B here. So this force. At point B, 
the component of f is fx and fy. So, which component can create moment about this point A? Is it fy or fx? So, here fy is parallel to this point A. So, definitely we can have fx times this distance which is h. Uh, so, ma is created by the fx time h. So, this is how we can apply the principles of moment. Next, we want to solve example 4.9 by using the principles of moment. So, here we have 200 force acts on the bracket determine the moment about point A here. So, look at this uh, figure, this bracket, this point A and this is the force. Force is given in uh, 200 Newton. So, now number 1, you can determine that the moment about point A is equal to force times distance. So, here force is given 200. So, what is the D? D must be perpendicular distance to the force. So, the perpendicular distance to the force, this is, right. So, so we need to determine this D. So, this D can be determined by resolving this distance, right. So, this distance is 100 mm. So, uh, you must alert here. So, here, our moment unit, the unit of moment is Newton dot meter. So, do we need to change this distance to meter? Yes, right. So, if you want to change later, also okay. Or you want to direct change, also okay. So, let's say we want to get D here. So, D here, this is the 100. So, this is the 45. So, here 45 and also here is 45 because here is 90 degree. Alright. So, D can be determined by 100 cos 45 degree. Or you can straightly uh, change into unit. So, it can be D is equal to 0 0.1 cos 45 degree. So, can you solve this? Here is the answer for the moment at point A. So, MA is equal to F times D. So, here F is 200. D is equal to 0 0.07. How to determine that? Is from 100 cos 45. So, first we have in millimeter 70.71. Then we convert into meter. It's become 0 0.07071. So, you can calculate, then you will get MA is equal to 14.1 Newton dot meter. So, this is direction, counterclockwise. So, this counterclockwise is the positive axis for the moment. So, here in Cartesian, you can have that moment is 40.1 K. Why K? Because we know that uh, the axis of moment lies perpendicular to the axis force and distance. Still remember or not? So here, you also can refer to this figure. So here, this is the point A and this is the F. So now this F goes to this point A. So this is the X axis and this is the Y axis. So perpendicular to X and Y is the axis Z. Also, you can use your right hand rule. So, how to use your right hand rule? So, let's say um, this is your F. Your F is represented by the palm. So, by your right palm. So, your right palm, uh, I try to sketch here. So, this is your right palm. So, let's say this is your thumb. And this is your other finger. So, this is your other finger. So, let's say, um, so you, 
this force, uh, this finger goes to this point A, you will curl, kan? The finger will become curl. So, when your finger become curl, then it can show, your thumb can show the, uh, thumb can show like this. Ah, kan? This is thumb. So, this thumb show the directions of moment. Okay? The thumb show the directions of moment. Okay, if you don't understand, we show in class lecture. So here, this is the force and this is the point. So this is the, uh, you need to get the perpendicular distance. So you can have, this is the line of point A and this is the line for this force. So perpendicular to the force is this. So this is perpendicular. So this is the perpendicular if you measure from this point O. So uh, to determine this D, you can resolve this. Distance. So, 100 cos 45. Because this is 45, this is 45. Next, second method. So, second method. So, we can resolve the force 200 Newton into component. Component X and Y. So, here, this is the force. So, the component is Fx and Fy. So here, so you can use uh, a 45 degree. So this is also 45 degree. So for the Fx, you can have that 200 cos 45. Okay, for the Fy, so you can have 200 sine 45. So now we want to resolve this Fx go to this point A. So what is the distance? What is the perpendicular distance for the Fx? So here, right? Uh, so, this is the distance. So, distance uh, is given uh, 100. So, you can change. It becomes 0 0.1 meter. And then, Fy. So, Fy. What is the distance? Perpendicular distance from Fy to point A. So, here this is the distance for Fy. Which is 0 0.2 meter. So, now you can sum. The component of Fx and component of Fy. So, uh, first, you can have that moment at point A is equal to summation of the force times distance. So, here we have M Ma is equal to uh, 200. So, this is uh, represent Fy. So, Fy is positive. So, 200 sin 45 times 0 0.2. Why positive? Because this force goes anti-clockwise to the point A. So, force 200 sin 45 times uh, this distance 0 0.2. So, next is minus. Why minus? Because this Fx goes like this. So, Fx goes counter-clockwise to point A. So, this is why. It becomes negative here. So, Fx is 200 cos 45. So, this is the Fx. So, the distance, perpendicular distance is 0 0.1 here. So, you can calculate. So, the answer is 40.1. Because it's positive, so it is the counterclockwise. So, in Cartesian, it is become Ma is 41.k Newton dot meter. So, you must remember when we have the summation moment at point A. So, we need to know how uh, the force points to the point A. Next, example 4.1. So, we have force F acts on the end of the angle bracket. Determine the moment of the force about point O. So, now this is the point O and this is the F. Okay, so here we want to apply the principles of moment. So now you, um, so the distance is given like this. So, so from this F, you need to divide into components. So this is become Fx. So this is become Fy. Because we assume that uh, this is the 2D. So this is the X and this is the Y. Okay. 
So how to determine the fx? How to determine the f1? Uh, so this is the angle. Angle 30 degree. So definitely you can resolve that. fx is become 400 sine 30 here. Because this is the angle. So this angle is cos to the fy. So fy is equal to 400 cos 30 degree. Uh, so now... You only can determine what is the perpendicular distance for Fx and what is the perpendicular distance for Fy. So, of course, Fy perpendicular distance is 0 0.4 meter. So, perpendicular distance for the Fx is 0 0.2 meter. So, can you write the summation of moment? So, here... The moment about point O. So this is the Fx and this is the Fy. So summations of moment. So you want to get the summations of moment at point O here. So this force go like this. So it's become positive because counter clockwise. CCW. So this force goes to the point A clockwise. So it's become negative. So here we can have that. Uh, 400 sin 30 times perpendicular distance 0 0.2 and then minus 400 cos 30 times 0 0.4 perpendicular distance and it's equal to negative 98.c so negative means that this moment occur counter clockwise so counter clockwise exists k here as usual, the axis of moment must be perpendicular to the plane of force and distance. So here, because of this is the x, this is the y, so this is the z, z is k. Here we have second method, so we can express uh, in Cartesian. So how? So because here we have f and this is the point o so of course we can get what is the r so this is the r okay so how to determine the r r is the position vector so here we can have that moment is equal to r cross f so you can have the determin uh, determinant here so you can determine r is equal to 0 0.4 i minus 0 0.2 J. So because uh, this is the axis X, this is the axis Y, so this is the J and this is the I. So here uh, 0 0.2 is negative, 0 0.2 J and this is uh, I, positive 0 0.4. So R is 0 0.4 I minus 0 0.2 J. And then F, you can resolve in Cartesian. So, we have this is the Fx and this is the Fy. So, here uh, Fx is positive. So, that is why we have 400 sin 30i. So, Fy is negative. So, that's why we have negative 40 cos 30j here. So, uh, you can uh, simplify. F is 200i minus 346.4j. So, you can substitute into the determinant. So, here we have I, J, K. So, you can uh, substitute R. R is 0 0.4. Here is negative 0 0.2. And then we don't have K. So, you just put 0 lah. So, here you have uh, force. Force uh, in I is 200. And then we have uh, J is negative. Negative 30... 346.4 so you can have uh, the solution so moment at point O is equal to negative 98.6 newton dot meter so in K